guys, this is Tracy. Today I'm going to show you how to ungroup and attach the elements from this week's free Hello Spring Gnome SVG. First thing we're going to do is this is how it's going to look when it lands on your screen. And I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. And I want to come over here and I want to ungroup this. And the first thing that you'll notice is all the black wording, the hello and the spring, are all together along with the little fly lines here from the bee and the bee body. If you wanted to take the word hello and make that a different color, you absolutely could. They are separate. You can see that here. You could make that like a, a blue color or, you know, whatever you want to do. But for this purpose, for this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the black all together. So I am going to hit the attach button here and I'm going to hide this to get that out of the way. And you can see what's left. Now, another thing I want to show you, if you wanted to, let's go ahead and undo this. Oops. Okay. So now it is lo no longer attached detach it here. If you wanted to take the pants from the gnome, you could do that too, make it easier for you to apply to your project. So we could go through here and let's ungroup this. Go down to my little gnome right here. Actually, let me hide this so you can find it easier. Ungroup. Go to the little gnome here. We can see everything right here. This is all grouped together. So we can ungroup this. And my goal is to get down to his little pants right here. Okay, so let's hide that. And we'll scroll through here and hide all these other little pieces here. It's very easy to hide them and then bring it back. It makes your canvas a little bit cleaner. So when you're working, you don't get confused. So let's hide his beard and let's hide this part. Okay, so let's bring back the words now. So let's say you wanted to attach his the bottom leggings and then the words. You could do all that. Click on that. See what you have here, all clicked together. And then you want to make sure that you hold down your shift button and click on his pants. And then we're going to attach. Now all this is going to be attached and you'll see when we go to make it that all of this will cut together. This right now is still black. You could change this to a different color if you wanted to and then attach that as well. Let me find it in here. I promise all these, they look like it's a whole lot of work, but it's really easy. Once you get a hang of how to attach and flatten things or, or not flatten, I'm sorry, just attach things and group them the way they need to be cut. It really is simple. So let's attach that. Now that's all back together. Now I also want to show you the reason that I did not attach the ladybug, the black part of the ladybug, is because this black is actually on top of the red part here. So if I hide that red, you can see that the red would be laid down first and then the black. So you never want to attach a uh, black that is on top of a color. You could do that if you wanted to, but then when you go to apply it, you're going to have to put your red down first and then put the black on top. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to confuse you. Okay, so let's send this to the back. Okay, and then we're going to bring our gnome pieces back here. They should all come in the correct way. Bring this little beard in and this part. Okay, you could change the colors of his hat and shoes if you want to. You can change the color of your flowers, move things around, change um, whatever is good for your style. Um, I personally would not attach the green part of the leaves here. And the reason that I would not do that, when we go to make this, if you go to the green, you can see how they're all, they're all the same shape. So they're all going to cut on one and they would be easy to place on your project. But if you were to cut this, if you were to attach these, let me see if I can go through and show you what I mean here. If you attached every one of these greens, you would have a whole lot of wasted vinyl in between here. And it would be difficult to, oh, well, it wouldn't really be difficult, but you would be throwing away a whole bunch of vinyl that's in between there. These pieces are very small, so it's not hard to place these in the design. But that's it for this week's project, guys. I promise you it's super simple. Another easy way to make a really cute um, spring project, spring decoration, something for your home, or add it to a shirt, cups, tote bags, you know, whatever makes you happy. This project can be found in the freebie library. It is Design 144. Um, you can find that along with the fonts that I use, the names of the fonts, on the blog post. 
Hope you guys like this project. Make sure you post them in the Facebook group if you make it. You know I love seeing what you guys make. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you.